Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code one, two, two, best time to buy and sell stock two. So you're given an integer array prices where price is I is the price of a given stock on the ith day. On each day, you may decide to buy and or sell the stock. You can only hold at most one share of the stock at any time. However, you can buy them immediately and sell it on the same day. So we need to return at the maximum profit that we can achieve. So we have an array of prices. We have the days that correspond to the prices. So let's work out the best time to buy and sell a stock. So if we started at seven, seven is clearly the largest value within this array, right? So it's, it's not a good place to buy a stock. One, however, is a good place to buy a stock. And then if we sell at five, this gives us a value of four. And then if we buy again at three and sell at six, this is going to give us a value of three. And if we add these two together, this is going to give us a total of seven, which is the output that we're looking for. So how would we go about writing the algorithm to solve this? Well, let's look at the graph representation of this. We have a graph here where we've plotted the prices for each day. And we said that the prices that we're going to look at one, five, three, and six. And if we map these values to the graph, we have these. Now, can we see any pattern with these? Well, if we think about it, we always buy at the troughs of these graphs, and then we always sell at the peaks. So firstly, we buy at a trough, then we sell at its peak, and then we buy again at the trough, and we sell at the peak. And the difference here is going to be four, three, and then total is going to be seven. Right, so using this information, if we have a loop and we initialize the loop at i, we'll have a total which will be the incremental total, which will start off at zero. What we can do is we can compare this to the previous value. If the current value we're on is less than the previous value, then we haven't found a peak. So we increment i. If the previous value is less than the current value, then we are on an upwards trajectory. So we can add the difference to total. Increment i, check the difference. Current value is less than five, so we don't do anything here. Increment i, check the difference. The current value is greater than the previous value, so we're on an upward trajectory. So we add the difference between two to total move i along four is less than six so we don't do anything move i along i is out of bounds and now we can return the total so time complexity for this algorithm is going to be o n where n is the size of the input array prices and then space is going to be o of one constant space so let's declare total let's loop through prices so i is equal to one i is less than prices dot length i plus plus if the current value we're on, so prices at i is greater than prices at i minus one, we're on an upward trajectory. So we can calculate the difference, which is going to be prices at i minus prices at i minus one. And then we can add that to total. So we can increment total by the difference. And that's it. We just need to return total at the end and give this a run. Submit it. And there you go. 